Hello guys, my name is Vandolf. In this video, I will show you the simplest way to complete the book library assignment. Now I know that some of us are very busy and have very little time to do the assignments that our professor gives us. <laughs> so I will make this video as short and simple as I possibly can. In this assignment, we have to create a book object. Then put that book object in a library object then serialize it so that once our program exits, the book and all its contents that we put in the library will still exist the next time we run our program. So without further ado, let's open up Eclipse. I'm going to name my workspace library so uh, I can remember. Alright, so first let's create the uh, Java project. Right click on your package explorer and click on Java project. I'm going to name this project library system. There you go and hit finish. All right, so the first step would be to create the, uh, the book object, the book class. So click, right click on source folder and new class. I'm gonna name this class, we're gonna name this class book. Hit finish. There we go. Now, since this, since this book object needs to be serializable, we need to say that it implements serializable. So, implements serializable. Let's have Eclipse import that. Now, our book object, now our book class is serializable. And I'll talk more about uh, what serializable means later on. But for now, just put that in there. Now let's define the uh, book attributes. What does a book have? A book has, uh, well, you can make up whatever you want, but I'm just going to make up my own stuff. So I say that a book has an ISBN. So private int ISBN. A book has... Uh, title, author, and price, private string, title, author, and private double price. Sorry, not rice, price. Now, if you guys don't know what private, what these uh, security modifiers are, then you're free to go, uh, go Google it. I'm not going to talk about that here. Now let's move on to creating the constructor for our class. We're going to create, first we're going to create the, uh, the default constructor. So public book, no parameters. And all we're going to do here is assign default values to our book attributes ISBN equals zero title equals null author equals null price equals zero Java the Java compiler gives a default constructor even if you don't define it but I just like to define my own default constructor just no, just, be, just because, really. Now let's actually define the constructor that we're going to be using. And this constructor takes in parameters, unlike the default constructor, which, which takes in no parameters. Public book 
int isbn string title string author double price as you can see the uh, the types have to match with what we uh, the attribute types of our book otherwise it's not going to work you also notice that I I put the uh, parameter name is the same as the attribute name this is bad practice but I just did this to show you that we can distinguish from this ISBN and this ISBN by using this this keyword so this ISBN equals ISBN now what this line is saying is basically this IBN is referring to this IBN I know I'm using the word this a lot but uh, bear with me so this IBN referring to this and this IBN is referring to the parameter ISBN sorry not IBN ISBN and we're just gonna do that for the other parameters other attributes so this dot title equals title this dot author equals author this dot price equals price and I like to do this because it just cleans up the code for me and I'm, I'm used to doing this in uh, in what do you call it in uh, oh I forgot oh my god I forgot uh, what is it again self dot you know what I'm talking about right um, uh, god brain freeze in Python there we go oh my god my brain froze oh it's 1056 so I'm pretty sleepy yeah this is how you do it in Python Python you basically say uh, self dot whatever the object attribute is anyways I, I digress and we also need to override our uh, the the book to string method well we don't need to override it we can just call it another method name but I like to override it so public string to string and basically the purpose of this method of this function is it returns a string representation of this object so all we have to do is return a string return a string and what the string that we're going to return is is this so just copy along with me I really don't want to explain it it's uh, self-explanatory once you see the code so just type along with me as I'm typing and just put a new line here new line plus new line alright so the uh, we're pretty much done with our book class